my name is uh, Dr. Kingsley. This life, no balance, and um, I'm just living the Kigali Genocide Memorial uh, venue. Uh, it's, it's really not a good experience. Um, I feel so sad knowing that uh, such an incident happened to my fellow African brothers and sisters. Uh, so it's really very, very sad. People should know that um, we are all one. As Africans, as human beings, we are all one. It doesn't matter your tribe, your religion. So it's really so sad. I'm actually very sad now. But um, And I'm glad that uh, the Rwanda government established this place to you know, let people know what, what hate can do. You understand the hate you have for your fellow human being, what it can cause and what it can lead to. So I'm really, I'm really glad I, I'm able to say this. And then I'm also, you know, also preach out to my fellow brothers, African brothers, when I go back to my country. What hate and um, diversity in religion and culture can do, can cause. We are all one, and then I preach love and let love lead. Peace out to all Africans. God bless Africa. My name is Jafet, I'm a comedian. And after realizing that comedy is a, a cultural aspect, that you know, people tell stories, I had to, to bring them at the memorial site for them to see what happened in Rwanda, so that when they go back, they, they tell the stories, because there are many people who are telling lies of what happened in Rwanda, but they have seen uh, the history, they have seen the tangible, visible uh, signs of what happened in Rwanda, and they are all shocked because they had different stories from what they have seen now. So I hope that this should be the base of the stories to go on the loot and the source and see what happened. And I want to thank also the administration here, the government of Rwanda, to have such a kind of site where people come and see. My name is Josh Alfred, and um, this has been the most touching, the most, the most heartbreaking part of the talk, you know. And you know, finally, yeah, I've heard the stories about the genocide, and, but finally coming here to you know feel closer to what happened um, at that time really you know touched me. I will never forget this, and may, may the souls continue to rest. May the souls continue to rest. And, and, yeah, I wish. I wish Africa peace. Guys, my name is Furnaces and I'm a comedian from Nigeria and uh, I just finished touring the Genocide Memorial Center and uh, we got to learn about how the whole genocide happened and um, you know, just gives us um, the opportunity to reflect on humanity and um, is humanity love over anything, you know. Rest in peace to everybody that was, you know, murdered during the genocide. You all in our hearts. Thank you. My name is MC Tricky. I'm a stand-up comedian from Kenya. And I'm in Rwanda, Kigali. And I took my time to visit the Kigali Memorial, uh, genocide memorial uh, place. And it's really a sad story that I've learned around. Uh, we've been hearing about uh, this sad story of Rwanda. It's good that I have come around. I've read about the history. I've gotten the, the insight on what was going on, what happened. And it's really a, a, a sad African story. But uh, it's good that we learn uh, for the sake of the future that something like this should never happen and should never be thought of happening again in Africa and in the globe at large. Uh, my name is Sundiata, the mayor of Kirabu. I'm a stand-up comedian from Uganda, yeah, Kigali. Something I've been taught about in school back in, in my country. Coming to learn the story in real life, man, I really, uh, I, while I was inside, I was really feeling on the low. I really feel so sad that that happened, but then this is one thing, an establishment like this one here, has been put in place to see that in the future such scenarios don't happen again and we pray it never happens again yeah it has been a humbling experience that i come to i am here to relate with the people of rwanda and get to know their story like that yeah we pray we don't have something like this again